Hey guys, got another knife review. Right now I'm going to be taking a look at the Benchmade 530 Pardu. Now, the coolest thing about this knife for me is how I came about getting it. So I was in Ganner Mountain uh, gun shopping over the weekend and uh, I just happened to look into the uh, knife counter and I saw a lone Benchmade box in the uh, in the bottom of the uh, the counter, um, I asked to see the knife, and I, it was this, and it just looked like it was down there, you know, had been ignored for a while, and uh, I asked how much it was, and it took them about 15 minutes to try to find it in the computer, and when they finally found it, it was on closeout for $29.99, so I got this knife um, for $30. I don't want to make any of you jealous, but I know you can't beat this price. Um, so that just makes it that much cooler for me. The fact that I only paid $30 for this, you know, $80 knife is really cool. But uh, enough gloating about how I got a great deal on this knife. And let's get into uh, some of the aspects and specifications of this knife. So uh, first off, we've got a three and a quarter inch length blade. The blade shape is a modified spear point. Um, really nice blade shape. It's uh, real handy for EDC. Uh, it's got a you know it's got a sufficient belly and it's also got a super sharp point here for piercing packaging you know piercing through envelopes to cut them open. Um, so that's pretty cool. The blade steel is 154 cm uh, with a Rockwell hardness of 58 to 61 HRC. Uh, so I've never had a 150M, uh, 154CM blade steel, but supposedly it's a pretty good steel. Supposedly it's an older steel, but uh, nonetheless, pretty good steel. Um, so as I said, it's a modified uh, spear point blade, has ambidextrous uh, thumb studs. Obviously, you've got the Benchmade Axis Lock here. It has grivery um, uh, handles, handle scales. And it's also got uh, kind of, they're not full stainless steel li li liners, but they are, um, there is some stainless steel lining in there. They don't extend all the way down to the base of the handle, I don't think. I, I looked before and I couldn't see um, any back here. But up here, there's a little bit, and those are 420J stainless steel. Um, it's got a nice black uh, pocket clip here. I wish it was a little bit more deep carry. You know, I wish it came up here, but, you know, I'm not complaining. It's a pretty good pocket clip. Nice retention. Uh, as I said, the blade length was three and a quarter. The blade thickness is another cool thing I like about this knife. It's it's 0 0.09 inches thick, so it's less than a tenth of an inch thick. Extremely thin profile. Um, extremely, you know, easy to cut stuff with. Great for food preparation. Um, and another thing that's awesome about this knife that I really didn't even notice, because I, prior to seeing this in Gander Mountain, I hadn't really paid much attention to this knife, but just how thin it is. There's my finger. And look how thin this knife is. It's extremely thin. Um, I don't know exactly the... Uh, okay, no, the handle thickness is uh, 0 0.37 inches thick. So that's like a third of an inch thick. It's, you know, tiny. Um, and the weight is also another crazy thing about this knife. It's 1.88 ounces. So it's extremely light. Um, you know, compared to, uh, my other Benchmade that I did a review on recently, the, uh, Triage, I believe this is a 915 Triage, this thing weighs like four of these, you know, I mean, it is a bigger knife, you know, look at the, look at the thickness, <laughs> this whole knife is almost as thick as this, uh, pocket clip here, and just look at that, crazy. This is, in my opinion, a great EDC knife. 
EDC folder because of you know how thin it is how light it is um, I think it could uh, easily melt away in your pocket and be used um, you know be a real helpful handy EDC knife you know because of the uh, the thin blade profile um, the sharp point the uh, the belly real nice EDC knife in my opinion so uh, the pocket clip is reversible um, either right hand tip up or left hand tip up um, it's got as I said the, the axis locking mechanism which I'm sure a lot of you know how it operates the uh, locking bar here pops into the tang of the knife back here and that locks it and to uh, close it you pull back on this bar and then you're free to move the blade back to the position you can also kind of do uh, not it's not so easy with this knife because it's the blades so light, but you can just you know pull this back and uh, I don't have a lot of <laughs> Room here to flick my wrist, but uh You can do it. It's easier than I just just showed you, but uh, it's definitely possible so um What else we have some uh, jimping up here? It's kind of a it's a liner jimping you can see uh, it's kind of flush with the top. It doesn't stick over the back of the handles. And I guess they just jimp the, uh, the liners. It's not really that functional, but I mean, if you put your thumb there, you can feel it. But uh, it doesn't really provide, actually, you know, back here, I feel like provides more traction than up here because there's more more surface and more friction buildup. But nonetheless, it is, uh, it is there. Um, just more of an aesthetical thing uh, than functional. This is a Mel Pardu design knife. Obviously, as you can see right there, the Mel Pardu logo. Um, really nice design knife. It's sort of like a, almost like a stiletto, I think. You know, just a, just the shape of it. It's, you know, doesn't have any curves to it other than you know the the slight drop in the blade here. Um, from handle to blade, it's it's like a straight, straight up uh, stiletto shaped knife, um, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? It's got a overall length when opened of 7.42 inches, and a closed length of. I'll try to get this bar. The the bar is a little sticky actually. I think that's just because it's probably, you know, been sitting in a box for five years. I just gotta oil that up probably. Anyways, it's got a uh, closed length of 4.7 inches. You can see uh, paired here to the triage. It's a little bit smaller in length, definitely smaller in height, and most definitely smaller in width. Um, so this is a really great EDC option, I, I believe. That would be a primary use for this. I don't think it would be a, a, a good tactical knife. I mean, it does have a nice sharp uh, point that would be superb for stabbing motions and uh, whatnot. But the blade is just, is just too thin. Um, at less than a tenth of an inch thick, I wouldn't want to put this into a hard use, stressful uh, task where you might end up, you know, breaking the tip or breaking the blade or bending the blade. I don't know. I wouldn't want to do it, but um, for normal EDC, everyday, light utility work, this is a great knife, great option. Um, so that's pretty much it. This is the 530 Benchmade Pardu, uh, plain edge, satin finished, uh, black gravery handle. Thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you liked the video, and uh, subscribe to my channel for some more knife reviews and uh, tech reviews and all kinds of good stuff. Thanks for watching.